Welcome back, everybody. Another beautiful, beautiful day in the world of Enigmatica 2 Expert. Hopefully you all are enjoying the series still. What are we at? Like, episode, like, 24 or something? That's pretty crazy. Uh, probably one of my longest series in a while, which I'm really happy about. Uh, the pack has definitely held on, and it's staying relevant for me, which is great. Um... I haven't had a pack that's really held my attention for this long in a while. And some of the problem solving and stuff like that in the pack is really uh, working to enhance and expand on my creativity and my functionality um, more or less as a builder. So really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, there's still so many improvements that we need to do. I really need to like buckle down a little bit. I had a few rough days of like tiredness and stuff like that. Um, but I really need to buckle down and uh, get myself some, some you know, building done for the most part, right? Like this building needs to be fixed and finished, right? Stuff like that. So, um, and I've just kind of nilly-willy, you know, placed down things like our nuclear craft stuff over here, which is where I want it. Um, but we need to do almost like a little balcony or you know, something, we need to style it a little bit better than what we currently have with this, right? So there's a few different things that we need to definitely do. Now, with the nuclear craft, I was kind of looking through a lot of it, and it seems to me, for the most part, for the most part, um, nuclear craft is kind of one of the mods that you get into you can get some upgraded machines that use RF that function instead of the IC2 machines downstairs um, with things like the manufactory, uh, the furnaces. Um, there's like a compressor thing. I think it's called a pressurizer. Um, so you can use some of those things with RF instead of going the IC2 route. But a lot of the nuclear craft stuff is more late game, more late game in the pack. And that's okay. That is 100% okay. So we're going to deviate a little bit away from it. We'll come back. Don't you worry. We'll definitely be doing it because uh, things like, I think the RF tools, uh, I think it's the gate and RF tools even, uh, just to make even RF tools machine frames. I think it takes uh, some of the tough alloys and, and just some other things as well. Um, same thing with like extreme reactors and whatnot. So... We definitely need to dabble into the nuclear craft more so, but I think my first foray into it wasn't too, too bad. We'll, uh, we'll get there. Have no fear. Um, mechanism is going good. We set up, I set up a sawmill over here with the Xnet and basically supplying that with wood and exporting out automatically um, with the Xnet our wood planks so i've basically disabled our cutting block down here this guy here from receiving any wood so that guy is working as intended which is great so if i pull this out basically you're not going to see any more wood come into this block cutting machine right um the other thing too i was thinking we should upgrade uh this cutting blade to a diamond one i don't think that there's I don't think I can reuse this blade for anything. Um, so I'll probably just get myself a diamond one as we go. Um, I don't think the diamond one's very expensive. But we'll come back and we'll do a cutting blade. Uh, that'll just make some of, our, some of our plates a little bit more easier, I guess. We don't really need them, as bad as that sounds. But yeah, because now that we have the presses over there, they are very, very efficient. Okay. Um, a couple things, though. There are a couple things. I want to dabble into the whole um, reactors. Reactors stuff. Okay. Um, I needed another basic machine frame, didn't I? I didn't make one. Dense iron plates. Okay. We can do that pretty easily. Uh, dense iron plates, of course, 1827. And we'll throw that into the compressor here. Um, that's only three. That's only three worth. I need more than that. Okay, we'll just go make some more iron plates. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to dabble into the whole nuclear uh, side of things a little bit. Where, you know, 
we just kind of get into doing some of it. Nothing too crazy. Um, but it'll allow us to kind of sort of expand on things a little bit. And I am starting to think of things like we need probably a matter fabricator, plutonium, you know, all that kind of stuff to start to be generated with IC2 uh, at some point here. And I don't really have any of that, that set up right now. So I'm thinking that we'll start to dabble in that. It will also be a really nice source of power for our system, which will be very good, right? Uh, and bingo, bongo, beautiful. All right, boom, boom, boom. And what's the other part with it? Aluminum plates. Aluminum plates. Man, I am just so not prepared. That's okay, though, right? You guys don't mind. You guys don't mind. It's fine. I only had like six days to prepare for this. <sighs> Serenity now. <laughs> I love the jump three, by the way, on my boots. Uh, just because I can do things exactly like I just did there. With the hang glider, it seems to work awesome. You can kind of maneuver yourself around a little bit better um, than what you could before. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty sweet. I do like it. Uh, for the most part, though, all of this setup is working really good. We have loads of power. Our ethanol is holding up more than fine. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I think at this point, though, it'd be nice to get rid of the bat box and get these guys on a tier 2 power system so that we can use them a little bit more. Um, but that'll happen in due time here. Okay, basic machine casing. Boom. Oh, wait. No, I didn't need that. I just wasted all y'all time. I only needed the two. That's what it was. That's what it was. Ah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. No big deal. You guys don't mind, right? All right. Um, we needed the generator, the advance, and then the dents around the edge like this. Generator. All right. Good. Good. Generator, advanced, and then the reactor chambers. Very nice. Nuclear reactor. Yeah. Now, I think that's a quest. I don't know for sure. I guess we'll find out here shortly. I'm um, not sure if there's a bit of a delay on that one or not. Or it might require additional things. I haven't really looked at it. Um, I haven't looked in the industrial craft. Oh, yeah. We don't even have the kinetic generator. So we jumped ahead a little bit here. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly make a kinetic generator here. And that way we can at least get our quest claimed. Now this nuclear reactor can also be used for the extreme reactors controller, which is kind of what I'm thinking we'll use it in. Basic crafting table extended. Do we need the extended crafting table for this? No. No, we don't. Do we? It's showing extended crafting here. Yeah, we might. So I'll probably just make an actual nuclear reactor just for IC2 out of that guy. But yeah, you can use it for the extreme reactors, basically. So that'd be cool. But what I'm thinking is a basement underneath here, and we'll get into some of that uh, here soon enough. I think, though, um, we're going to take a quick little turn. We're going to take a quick turn. A uh, little pivot point here because I actually saw something the other day and I'm like, wow, that's so smart. Why didn't I think of that? And that is, why did we not just, why don't we just make our tools unbreakable, right? We have Tinker's tools, just make them unbreakable. You know, I wasted all this stuff about durability and whatnot with emeralds and you name it. Why don't I just make it unbreakable? So what I was thinking is uh, you need five open modifiers, which I have on my pick. I have six total. Um, I think I'm, I don't have any on my sword right now. No, but I have five open on my pickaxe so I can make that unbreakable. And with the unbreakable pickaxe and vein miner, I'm kind of sort of set, right? We can just kind of vein mine to our heart's contents. Or at least until our stuff doesn't fail us. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, everyone. No big deal. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I really should make this better. I made it so poorly, but that's okay. 
We'll get there. We'll get there. Anyways, um, so I needed to waste some wood anyways, right? There we go. Nailed it. Jeez. Uh, Jeez, man. Jeez. Um, one other thing that I did make was uh, I made myself the ring of magnetizing as well. So that's why I'm magnetizing all the things, right? So just in case you guys wanted to know. Um, it's not expensive. It's pretty cheap. Uh, all things considered, once you get the, you know, the stuff for it. So, that's what I made there. Um, okay, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. So, we got that, we got that. Let's get ourselves some of this reinforced modifiers. Reinforcement from Tinker's Construct. Ooh, a little gold heavy. So, we need dense obsidian plates. So, that is nine obsidian plates. Okay. Now, can we... So we can't do these in the presser. These ones we have to do in the block cutting machine. Okay, perfect. This is a perfect opportunity for us to get ourselves the diamond cutting blade. So steel and diamonds. No big deal. Easily done. Okay, good. Good. So this will handle our IC2 cutting of some obsidian, which I only have seven of. That's great. That's not enough obsidian. This just in, not enough. Um, so let me install this guy. So we have our diamond now, so we can utilize that, but we need to go get a little bit of obsidian. So let me go get some of that uh, downstairs here and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're getting our obsidian plates. We need 54 total and we might as well start these guys up in the compressor as well. Um, I made myself also a whole bunch of gold plates. Now, for these, I'm going to need three gold item casings. Really? Three of them? Ridiculous. Redonkulous. All right, and then we're also going to need this golden sheet metal. Um, gold sheet metal times six times three recipes. So that's 18 total. So we're going to need five of these. I have no clue what this gold sheet metal would be used for otherwise. Um, pretty much nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, good. 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 Excellent. Uh, oh, no. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. We'll take that one back out. And, yeah, we'll stick that in there. You know what? I'll keep some obsidian here. Why not? Uh, we got our gold item casings. That's good. We can throw those in the middle. And our plates, which are almost done. So, not too, too bad. It's a pretty easy recipe. It's not early game. You know, like, it's not day one type scenario. But, you know, once you get a little bit of an IHC2 setup, even this setup, I probably should have done that at this point. It would have saved me a lot of time and hassle. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, for now, boom. Reinforcements. Very good. Okay. We can stick our obsidian plates and such back in there. And let's head on over to our tinker setup. Now this guy... See, look at that. Three little bounces. Isn't that great? I think so. Alright, so let's throw this in here. Maybe. There we go. And we need five of them, right? So each one of these is going to give us a reinforced of 20%. Now we get up to 40%. 60%. 80%, and then it goes down here and becomes unbreakable, which is great. So now, basically, this tool cannot be broken. You know, some of the other things that we have on there, completely worthless um, or completely wasted, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm not too concerned. So what this means is outside of having food on us, which I don't really have much of right now, um we will not be restricted whatsoever with vein mining. So when it comes to mining, we are golden. We can go to town and get as much mining done as we want. So, yeah, in that regard, it's really good. Um, which one gives the most food here? Definitely the ice cream. General Tao? Nope. I think it's the wonton soup. I think, I think. I don't think I have any more burgers, so we'll leave that for now. Poutine. Poutine's good, by the way. I recommend it. It's very tasty. That gives 11. 
That gives 11. So those are basically the same. So anyways, we can kind of just go to town on our wonton soup and do a whole bunch of mining, right? So pretty darn good, pretty nice and efficient when it comes to doing some mining. The big thing here is, as you can see, there's no durability anymore on this item, um, which is great. It allows us to kind of go just full rain. We can start to vein mine pretty much anything, like all this andesite. And as you can see, there's no durability or anything like that that's actually being affected for this pick. So really, really nice stuff. Really enjoy it. It's very, very helpful overall. So yeah, as you can see, we can kind of just go to town. Some of this quality of life stuff um, is probably something I probably should have got done a lot earlier on, but alas, I didn't. So um, especially with like the magnetizing and yeah. And you know, it's, it's funny, like you should probably do a ton of exploring. Um, I didn't do a lot of exploring in the pack. Uh, we kind of went to the village and that was it. Um, so yeah, just one of those things that I would recommend doing. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to go mine crazy. Might as well, uh, go do some mining, stuff like that. And, uh, I'll be back afterwards. All right. So I did, uh, one quick, uh, quick search down there. Um, a couple of things I want to get myself, uh, just a whole bunch of coal, right? Uh, mostly for torches because I didn't have any simple as that. I haven't found any way of like automatic illumination or anything like that through any of my bags or any kind of trinkets at this point in time. I have like engraved thunder, piston scepter, you know, a few other things, but not that. And again, like I said, I haven't done a ton of exploring. So yeah, that's my own fault. Um, but one thing that I did get was this spawner seeker. And I definitely want to use this right here. And the reason I want to use this is because I want to find a spawner. Simple as that. Um, I haven't been able to find one, period, yet. Um, and apparently there's none around here whatsoever, which is just great. Uh, the fact that we have nothing. Um, absolutely wonderful. Exactly what I wanted. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's why I haven't found any. There's none. <laughs> so I'm going to just kind of cruise around. It is a very good item. Um, I'm surprised that we're not finding any, to be honest. Usually they're pretty easy to find. But I guess I'm just a little unlucky with the spawners. I don't know. There's no spawners. There's like no spawners around. That's crazy. What about in here? Nothing. Oh, maybe over there? Did it find one? Did it find one at the end maybe there? I didn't see. It looked like it moved, didn't it? It seemed to me like it moved anyways. What's this? Oil sand. Hmm. Oh boy. Ooh wee. Didn't expect a witch. All right. Um. Hmm. That way. I'm kind of just willing to just literally vein mine my way through this thing. If that's what's required. I want a spawner. So I'm going to keep searching uh, until I find one. Simple as that. All right. Well, it wasn't exactly the spawner I was looking for, but it's okay. Right? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. They're just cave spiders. It's fine. No big deal. Yeah. No, where are you? There you are. Star. I hate being poisoned. 
How did I get up there so easily the first time? And now, I'm acting like a bumbling fool. There we go. There we go. Really? Okay, we'll do that. Provide a torch or two to at least assist in the situation here. I'm actually out of food too, which does not help. Um, anyways, we'll do that quickly. And I'm actually going to break this guy. Uh, am I going to break this guy? No, I don't think I am going to break this guy. I think we're good to not break this guy. But I do want to mark it. I do want to have... Um, Firm acknowledgement that this exists here. Uh, so we're going to do a quick little waypoint. Hopefully I don't get uh, cave, spider, spawner. I probably need to get myself a drop of evil, right? So what I'm thinking is we really need to find a nether fortress. We haven't really had much luck finding a nether fortress. Um, so I think now is a pretty good time to go and find that. It's kind of a little bit of an exploration adventure that we're on here right now. So there's a lot of little things and a lot of things that I've kind of neglected um, over time here. So anyways, I'm going to grab a few items on our way. And uh, yeah, we'll, I'll probably see in the nether. I think we need to jump over there. I also need to relink my nether portal so that it, it comes out where I want it to. So yeah, that's another whole thing. So Anyways, um, I'll meet you in the nether. Alright, so we're in the nether, and my portal needs to be at 24 and 62. Negative 24 and 62. So, we're not too far away from where it should be. Um, which is good. It doesn't mean I have a long ways to go. But this spawn is garbage, to say the least. So what I'm thinking is, let's actually go, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Yeah, okay, good. So we need to get over to negative 24 and positive 62, which is this general direction. So I'm going to keep going. Oh boy, that's danger. That's dangerous. It's fine, it's fine. No big deal. We got it, we got it. It's all contained. There we go. <laughs> it's fine. Vein mining in the nether is perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, minus 31. And 67. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, God. And I'm out of food. No, oh, stop it. Can't do two things at once. All right. Cool. Um, we'll get that going. Good. I'm just pounding through food like you wouldn't believe. It's fine, though. All right, so minus, what did I say again? Minus 24, positive 62. So minus 27. We're close. We are close. So let's do that guy. Um, let's do this up quick. Get rid of that. Okay, let's see. Minus 24. Right here, good. And 62, right in this block, right here. Perfect. All right, so this is going to be our actual nether portal. So this guy here should handle and should bring us back in the correct spot. So I don't know if you guys remember back last time I came through the nether portal. Well, it's been happening every single time. Um, but basically what's happening is we are continually getting transferred to the wrong spot. <laughs> when we come back through. So hopefully this solves the issue. It should. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this one. Bloop. Okay, I've already burnt through all my magnetization. Haven't I? No, why did, oh, why did I not magnetize? Anyways, whatever, no big deal. Um, I need to devnull this. Uh, so we'll devnull these guys. Good for now. And uh, does this work? Yes, it does. Okay. I do not need netherrack. Thank you. 
Very good. Okay, so hopefully this portal now serves our needs exactly as we intend. So I'm going to now waypoint this one. Um, we are going to... Can we just edit it to the current? No, not very easily anyways. Um, we can just do this though. 24, 62. Um, sure, save. So yeah, so that should be... Yeah, right there. Excellent. Okay, good. Good stuff. So now we have our nether portal hopefully linked up accordingly. Um, and I did bring my spawner finder into the nether. And I'm kind of hoping that we can get a little bit lucky and see... Say, aha, uh -huh, it said this way, didn't it? So that's good. Um, that means that there could potentially be a nether fortress nearby. Which would be awesome. Let's just see what it does this time. It just disappeared. Didn't it? Yeah, it did. Or I just didn't have enough room for it. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> it's fine, everyone. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Okay. Boom. And boom. Let's try it with this more open area here. See what it does. So it's sand straight that way. So that's good. So let's keep going with this accordingly. Okay, good. That should block it off. Um, and I'm going to keep on following this thing as long as I possibly can here. Because we might as well. It's telling us that there's something this way. I have to trust it, right? I have to absolutely trust this thing. It found me the other one, so I proved that it at least worked. And yeah, we can go from there. Okay, good. We'll contain that guy. There's a lot of lava though, so do be careful if you do this in the nether. Okay? Still staying straight that way. So, let's keep going. Let's keep on trucking. The unbreakable pick though is really nice. So now our only limiting factor is literally just our hunger bar. So that's great. Let's see. Straight that way. All right, it's still on to something. So I'm going to keep digging out. It seems like we've hit flesh here, um, which is a little bit more annoying. I'm going to try to go up and around it here, but it looks like it's kind of all-encompassing, doesn't it? Um, but anyways, I'm going to keep trucking here with my seeker finder, spawner finder here and see if we can't find ourselves like a blaze spawner or something. That'd be all right. All right, so here we go. We found a nether fortress finally, which is good. Um, I have no clue how I'm going to get out of here afterwards, but that's fine. We'll figure that out because home is like 500 blocks away. Oh yeah. Um, didn't get to see too much along the way, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, was kind of uneventful. Um, so I didn't really show much of it or any of it. There's a drop of evil. Nice, nice. There's our cursed earth quest. Pog trap. All right. Um, there's blazes and whatnot. Uh, I see that there's a blaze spawner over there. I definitely want to get that guy. Really? You sniper, you. Hit me out of the air like that. <laughs> nope. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> Got him. Okay, get out of dodge. Get out of dodge. Um, I mostly want the wither skeleton skulls. I want a few drops of evil. Um, I want the wither drops, basically. I mean, the blaze rods are nice. Don't get me wrong. They really are, but that's not my sole purpose for finding this uh, nether fortress. And before I forget, let's actually mark it, uh, nether fort. Um, that way we at least have it, because, yeah, I'll totally forget. We'll leave, and you guys will all yell at me. It's fine. It's fine. You'll just yell at me. No big deal. Um, so, yeah, let's see. I pretty much one-shot most things, which is nice. It's really nice that... I'm as strong as I am coming into here. Um, but this took me a long time to find. I'm not going to lie. I really wish it didn't, but it did. So, yeah. But luckily, 
It seems like we have a very large... Ooh, a wither skull. Ooh. What luck. What luck do we have today? Luck of ye old Irish. Two skulls. Oh boy. Can we go three for three? Hmm? No, we can't. <laughs> no, we cannot. Oh, shucks. Um, can these hive blocks be used for anything? Ow! You jerk. <laughs> I don't think they really can, can they? Um, I mean, I guess we can use them for power, but that's really about it, right? So, yeah, we'll just kind of ignore that necrotic bone, I guess. Why isn't it that picking up, actually? Why is that different than that one? I need to know. I must know. Necrotic bone, necrotic... Oh, wither bone. Oh. Oh, one's a necrotic bone, the other one's a wither bone. I see, I see. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so... Nether fortress. Very happy. Very happy that I found it. Um, I need to get some nether wart as well. Uh, that's definitely going to be a priority here. And what else? Uh, yeah, just more drops of evil, more wither dust and wither skulls and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do my best here to kind of float around a little bit and get a few different things. Um, I don't know that... Do I have soul sand? I don't think that I do. Let's get some. Let's get some. I don't need these three. I can tell you that much. There we go. Grab all that. Grab all that. Anyways, I'm going to go around exploring this thing. It is a massive nether fortress. So I guess at least we have that going for us. Um, and there's a lot of nice stuff in here. Very good. Very good. Oh boy. I am not going to have the inventory space for all this. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so I got to steal stuff, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll get some goodies here. I I don't need the hive blocks. I've decided I don't really need those either, though. So, but what else? Oh man. Oh man, a lava charm. Sweet. I'll take that. Thank you. Don't mind me at all. Don't mind me at all. Yeah. 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 Okay. I got to get all this stuff, all this loot, or try to get as much of it as I can. I probably should have brought more bags. So, this might be the biggest nether fort I've ever seen. I'm not even going to lie about that. This thing is ridiculously huge. I've been searching this thing for a good 20, 25 minutes. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I don't know how else to better say it, but it is so big. It's bonkers. It's massive. Um, I don't even, I don't even have a good way. Like I'm out of torches and everything, so I can't even like really mark where I've been, which probably isn't helping at all. But uh, this place is crazy large. Crazy large. Um, and a ton of wither skeleton spawns. Which is great. Like, absolutely amazing. Yes, come to me. And there's our third skull. There's our third skull. Just like that. We already have three. How ridiculous is this? How ridiculous. But no, honestly, this area here is bonkers. Tons of wither skeletons. Tons of spawn capabilities. Um, so many good things. So, yeah, really, really good, really impressed. It took me forever to find it, but now that I did, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, I'm probably gonna keep searching a little bit, but one of the things that I wanted to show you all was with the drop of evil. One of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to get myself a blaze spawner. So you can click that on the blaze spawner itself. Of course, you need to have inventory space. Look at these. Block of void crystals. Wasted. <laughs> but that gives you a resturbed mob spawner. Pretty sweet, right? So that allows you to kind of move and, and configure some mob spawners around if you so choose. Um, so I'm going to grab... I think I only need the one. 
I'm not going to grab more than the one. I think one's enough for my needs for now. But at least it will get us started on maybe some sort of a mob farm, right? Maybe we can get some sort of an automated mob farm, get some of that going a little bit more in the overworld, right? Or at least that's my thought process. I wouldn't mind uh, the cave spider ones. Probably not a good one. They're kind of a pain to deal with. Cave spiders, that is. Um, but maybe we can do it. I don't know. It's one of those things. Um, but it's so easy to get so much loot off these wither skeletons with looting three and the tinker's tools. It's ridiculous. And I basically one-shot almost everything. There's the occasional one like you just saw there that I don't one-shot, but they have like rare health or something along those lines. But yeah, so pretty good. I know that there's at least another blaze uh, spawner right over there. You can see it right up the stairs. Um, and I'm just like, this keeps going this way. Wowzers. Wowzers. There's a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Not a ton of chests, though. Like, this thing was really, really big, but I didn't, I haven't found too many chests. I did find this Ender Orb Translocator. That's cool. And these Magic Capacitors. Um, but yeah, outside of that, nothing else too crazy. We did, get, of course, get the three Wither Skulls, which is ridiculous. So, technically speaking, we could spawn ourselves a Wither and fight that. Um, but yeah, we'll... Uh, deal with that a little bit later <laughs> i don't know if we're even prepared enough to do that or not no, no, come here. oh boy he was strong taking two of my hits whoa why did that like shoot me that way not cool not cool blaze not cool at all okay 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 settle down now settle down now It sucks because some of these mobs are <laughs> decently strong. Um, anyways, I think we're pretty much done here. I think we're pretty much done in the nether fort. So I'm going to have to find my way back or find my way out of here or find a way to get back home. Uh, I don't have a ton of resources or anything like that to really go digging through. Um, but I need to get a nice easy way back to home. So I'm going to work my way back there. And uh, I'll see you back in the overworld. Um, it's too bad I haven't gotten like an ender book or something like that. But, oh well. What can you do? We can only do so much. Well, that took a long time. But we're back. Uh, whether or not that's good or bad, I guess is up for debate. But we are back. <laughs> Apparently I had a chunk of flesh on me. Dang, damn it. Oh well. It is what it is. Uh, we did get a lot of nice loot while we were in the nether. That's that's the main thing that we need to get from this. Okay? Including that view right there. We got the Resturbed Mob Spawner, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, very, very nice overall. Okay? So, we got some good stuff overall. Nothing too crazy. Um we did some good things we found some things i found like the hardest way possible to get to another uh another fortress uh simply put so <laughs> yeah just one of those beauties our armor took a bit of a beating um across the board uh we don't really have the best of setups right now like the nano suit's really good um, but we were in there a long time. So, yeah, things took a little bit of a beating, to say the least. Um, I'm going to work on charging up our things again, uh, because we've lost some durability, we've lost power in all of them, all that type of stuff. Uh, so we'll get these guys charged up and ready to go. Um, those will be like, can I charge these in here? Yeah, and it's almost instant. Well, that's nice. So yeah, the nano suit's pretty darn nice. Uh, it definitely did a good job. My dark boots are really good. I like them a lot, but um, straight up, we had 
we ran out of juice really early on with them so that's just one of those things uh we did get that lava charm so that's pretty cool um i'm gonna power up my ring of magnetization as well and we got the one quest so let's go and get that i think it was extra utilities cursed earth yes indeed we're gonna take number two and that leads us down some things with uh with basically ways of getting things done right so now from here we can get ourselves wooden spikes stone spikes iron gold diamond all of that type of stuff advance along through all of that um it also kind of allows us to advance down this other side as well um and it can also allow us to work down towards the angel ring because we can now get ourselves i believe a cursed lasso um which is a drop of evil with a golden lasso so pretty straightforward nothing too crazy um but we can at least get started on it we can get these things going because I finally went and explored the nether and found what I was looking for. Now, I know that we're well past a uh, wrapping up point here. Um, and I know that it was a little convoluted because we basically started with a nuclear thing. And then we, you know, jumped out of that and went into the nether and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But really needed to do that. So I hope you guys understand. Um, it's one of those things. So, yeah. Other than that, that's really about it for now. Um, more good dark boots. Very nice dark boots. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. We're going to call it. And I'll see what I can plan for next episode. Bye-bye for now. See ya.